You wanna go on a walk? <laughs> That's right guys, by the title of this video, obviously you can tell I'm spending 24 hours or just day in a life with my German Shepherd dog, Kiba. And the first thing we're doing is going on a walk. It is currently 7.34 in the morning. It's a very rise and shine moment. It feels good out here actually at this time. But obviously I have a German Shepherd. So if you guys know, German Shepherds need a lot of activity. Like a lot, especially mine. It's nonstop, all day long, playing with the ball, moving, doing something. So we're starting the day off with his favorite activity. Well, I'd say one of his favorite top, top two, top three, which is a walk. Kiba likes to sniff the bushes. Kiba, let's go. Oh, it's dookie time, y'all. Really? Dookie time, give me the bag. Kiba loves to take his dumps on his walks. He, for some reason, holds his dumps until he knows he can go on a walk to take the dump? I don't understand. Until it's three in the morning and he can't hold it anymore if we don't take him on a walk. <laughs> this guy has a soccer ball. I wonder how Kiva's gonna react. <laughs> Is that your ball, Kiva? Oh. You wanna go down the slide? I'm a shepherd. Kiba, I'm gonna go down the side. Hold on. Hold on. He's gonna jump on you when you do it. Oh. <laughs> Look at him trying to pretend like he listens. <laughs> good boy. Did you have a good walk? Yes, you did. You wanna get brushed, Kiba boy? Yeah, you love to be brushed. Okay, not on me. Lay down. Kiba absolutely loves getting brushed. He hates when we trim his nails. Like, he like does not let us trim his nails. But brushing, like, he just loves the way it feels. It's so funny to me, because he feels like it's like spa time or something. Sometimes I feel like I have a horse. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Huh. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, okay. I was, okay, okay. I keep it. Turn around. Oh, yeah. He knows that command. <laughs> so, I thought we would do a little quick chit chat with Kiba since this day is all about him. If you would turn around, look at the. Okay, well, you can chit chat. So, we're gonna. Kiba, can you, can you just look this way? Can you look at the people? Okay. Do a little chit chat. I'm gonna give you some facts about him. So, Kiba, you're like breathing in my face, bruh. Woo, hot breath. So, his name is Kiba, K I B A. And it is from the anime Naruto, which is a Japanese anime that my husband watches. And so the name is from that anime. So if you watch that anime, that's where it's from, if it sounds familiar to a lot of you guys. I know a lot of you guys asked that. Um, his breed, he is an all black, just purebred German Shepherd boy. <laughs> Yes, you are. We've had Kiba since he was eight weeks old, so we've had him since he was a puppy. Welcome home. <laughs> Good morning, Kiba. How are you? Huh? <laughs> This is a fun fact about you. Oh, and his birthday. He was born on November 9th. It's the same birthday <laughs> as my husband. Like, they literally have the same birthday. I think it's freaking crazy. So, every year we celebrate their birthday together. Um, what else is fun? So, he loves, obviously, going outside. 
He loves walks, he loves water play with water hoses. Anything water like spurting at him, he loves that. His favorite dog friend is his friend Angel. She's a female German Shepherd Husky mix, my friend Angel? Sarah's dog. Angel? Where's Angel? He's actually raw fed, so I know some people are gonna be like, well, lag, but he's raw fed. He's been raw fed since he was eight weeks old. You guys are gonna see that later when we eat dinner. You guys are gonna see his dinner. So he does not eat um, kibble, which that's up to you as your dog and you're the dog owner what you want your dog to eat, obviously. So don't be coming for me in the comments because this is our decision on our dog, okay? Um, he's about 80 pounds. He loves plopping down under our feet and taking little naps, following us everywhere. If you're on the toilet, he's gonna come and sit with you when you're taking a dookie. Um, Kiba is my first dog. I've never had a dog before. Don't be a German shepherd over here. Oh my God. So he's definitely a lot for our first dog. High energy, always gotta be playing, always gotta be doing something, but we love him so much and we can't wait to have another one to join to join our family. Maybe in a year or so, huh? I'm so crazy about you. I'm so crazy about you. Are you having a good day, bubs? I think you are. I think there's a little fly on your nose. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> okay, so obviously with having a German Shepherd, especially an all-black German Shepherd, dogs shed, okay? Especially German Shepherds, they shed, huh? Don't you shed. You be shedding, huh? You guilty. You guilt! <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's obviously natural, but it's a lot of grooming. It's a lot of vacuuming. And today we're gonna clean the carpets really quickly with Kiba with our Hoover Smart Wash Pet Wash. I'm so excited because we have these stains right here we're about to get rid of. You guys see that? This is actually from a year ago. Kiba, look. Look at the mess. Look at the little stain you got. We cleaned them, but like with hydrogen peroxide, not like professionally. So we're gonna clean that up right now. He always thinks that a vacuum or like a carpet wash or any like machinery that moves is like trying to attack him and is the most evil thing ever. So most likely you guys are gonna see him try to attack the carpet washer just because he thinks that it's trying to attack you. What do you think? What do you think, huh? Huh? <laughs> You're so cute. So this is actually really, really easy to use. I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. And what's really cool is that uh, the water in it and the solution that goes in mixes automatically and does it for you when you're washing your carpet so you don't have to dilute anything. So that's an extra step that takes away from cleaning your carpet, which you love. But yeah, let me show you how you guys do this real quick and let's get those stains removed. Talk huh, Cuba. So our water is just gonna snap in right here. Boom. We're gonna snap this just into the wand. Bam. And then for the solution, you just wanna keep it upright until you look, look at this. Oh my gosh. Hair everywhere, I just need to show you. He was here for like two seconds, my gosh. Okay, but this one, you're just gonna hold it upright until you put it in, so. Bam. It's so, it's so easy, my gosh. And that's it. Now we just, we just wash. So I personally just keep this here because in case I forget anything, you know, it, all, the quick starts right here. But this is gonna be your pre-treatment um, gun. So basically you just snap this right here. You're gonna lift it up and then, but bam, not at you, not at you. But we're gonna do it at the stains and then we're gonna clean all this carpet. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I know you're excited. Literally, stain is gone. I haven't even like done the whole thing. I just went a few times. You guys just saw me do it. Freaking amazing. Why are you barking at this? I'm cleaning up your stains. Your stains, huh? Look at the dirt this is catching on to. Literally, ew! But obviously, it's a good thing my carpet's getting clean. Thanks to you, buddy. Thanks to you. Oh, you're so cute. How can I be mad at you? <laughs> 
You go forward, the water automatically dilutes with the solution and it's washing and it comes out. You go backward, it's drying the carpet. That's literally all you have to do. Freakingbomb.com, easy as can be, even with some pee. If you guys are interested in learning more about the Hoover uh, Smart Pet Washer, Carpet Washer, Washer Carpet, all the carpet washer washer things, uh, go ahead and check the link in the description to get more info on it. It's seriously so bomb, especially if you have pets. <laughs> It's messing up in there, okay? Basically, we are working on Kiba's ability to stay in place until we tell him that he can release so that he doesn't go overboard with the door. We're trying to desensitize him a little bit to the doorbell and the door knocking when people come um, because he just goes crazy and feels like he needs to be a part of everything and he needs to protect everything and he needs to understand that we are able to do that as well on ourselves he can't just like go up on people when they come in so on with him um, and training him just a little bit on the daily he's actually going through uh, lessons right now to, for obedience and stuff so for the next few months he'll really be getting training pretty much every day the obedience that we want from him is obviously not going to happen overnight so yeah that's just some of our training stuff Eva, I have a treat for you actually Today is all about you. Let me get it from the car. You're gonna be so excited. So excited. They're a bit melted, but I don't think he'll care. But I got him like a popcorn uh, doggy treat. And then this is like supposed to be like a donut from the doggy bakery. So let's see if he's gonna like it. Actually, I'm not quite sure if he's gonna eat it, but we'll see. What is it? What is it? Sound like a brick. <laughs> I know. All right, bye. Bruh. It's dinner time. You hungry? You hungry? You hungry? I know you're hungry. So, like I mentioned earlier, Kiba is raw fed. So. He eats all kind of things. He eats uh, raw chicken, beef, lamb, rabbit, duck. He, duck's not his favorite, but he does love quail eggs. He eats all kind of stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys an example of something that he's gonna eat for dinner right now. Uh, because he is raw fed, it is important that he gets everything in his diet. So he also gets organs, he eats hearts, lungs, kidneys, brains. It sounds gross, I know, but he loves it and it's so, so, so good for him. There's lots of benefits of raw feeding. Of course, do your own research and feed your dog how you wanna feed your dog. It's your dog, right? So, but this is how we feed ours. All right, guys, Kiva is ready for dinner. So here we have some fish. Uh, this is sardines. It's his favorite fish to eat. Um, out of all of them we tried, he loves sardines so much. Some chicken, he has an egg, um, two chicken feet. And this is a meat mixture that we make for him. Um, sometimes we add the organs in there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bub, sit down. 
thank you. But we make sure he gets some veggies and fruit and he only eats them when it's mixed with the meat. So that's why I put it in there. We add flaxseed, coconut oil, it's a bunch of different things, but it's all good stuff. Are you ready to eat? Get it. <laughs> Chicken first, huh? So if anybody has like an issue with him eating raw food, like he's an ancestor of a wolf. What do wolves eat? Like they're biologically built to eat raw food and consume it. Um, they have a shorter G track um, than humans do. They can digest the raw bones. They can't digest cooked Cook. bones. You I know somebody in the comments is gonna be like, "How is oh he eating God, that bones. chicken? It's cooked." No, they can't eat cooked bones. bones. Raw it is changes fine. the consistency of the bone itself, and yeah. that will mess up their. And it stomach. can splinter and stuff. But yeah, he is two and a half. I've been eating raw since he's been in this house at eight weeks as a little puppy. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's a, it's everyone's choice, but you guys can do your own research and, and see yes. what you guys want to do, obviously. Always do your own research, yeah. don't be a sheep. Don't, li take it, don't take it from us, we're just some people on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking um, of your shirt, yeah, this, they, this guy, deep cut, deep cut. If I, I will link his, actually, I'll link his YouTube below. What is his channel name? Airborne. I forgot the numbers, but he's yeah. a military vet that breeds. Um, he breeds on um, his own. He has a breeding project. Yeah, he, this is his like logo. We just his press, merch. Yeah, supporting his merch, but he breeds and talks a lot about this of raw feeding as well. You guys can watch him raw feed his pack of dogs, of wolf dogs, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's pretty good stuff. All done. Lick the bowl. Dutch Bros, Dutch Bros. Hi guys, what can I hey. get time for ya? Hi, um, can I have a puppuccino? Got it. And then, Kiba, you ready for your puppuccino? <laughs> we got Kiba's puppuccino with his hair in it already with a little puppy treat. This is so delicious. I bet it is. So, before we go to bed, before we say goodnight, we're gonna do a little night howl, cause Kiva likes to howl, but in order to get him to howl, we have to put some wolves, like actual wolves howling on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I think he sounds, sometimes he sounds beautiful, sometimes he sounds a little ugly, but we'll see what we'll get out of him tonight. You ready? You ready to howl for them? Okay. <laughs> Say bye! <laughs>